Welcome to r slash am I the butthole where OP gets pretend fired in front of entitled Karens. So I, a 21 year old guy, live with my childhood best friend, a 22 year old guy, and have for the last two years now. Up until last week, things were perfect between us. However, he recently got a new girlfriend, a 23 year old lady, and she honestly seems absolutely great, except for one thing. She seemingly has a complete aversion to knocking. She and I have quite a lot in common and I actually like spending time with her. However, it bugs the heck out of me when she just barges into my room without knocking first. Now, she's never walked in on me doing anything untoward, I'm usually just chilling on my bed or studying at my desk. However, on at least 7 seconds separate occasions now, she's done it first thing in the morning to ask if I want coffee. I sleep naked. Every time prior to the last one, I've been under the covers and she hasn't seen anything. I always point out that she could have and she just giggles and says, but I didn't. When she stayed over last week, in order to make my point, I intentionally slept on top of my covers. Sure enough, she barges in at 7am, begins to ask if I want coffee, and sees my you know what. She immediately backed out of the room and didn't speak to me for the rest of the day. My mate later pulled me aside and said I was bang out of order, accused me of deliberately exposing myself, and pointed out that I'd threatened to do it before. I literally just said, okay, but what if I had no covers and you saw everything before? They're now framing this to others that I'm some sick creep who intentionally got naked and lay in wait for her because that's how I get my rocks off. And I'm kind of seeing how it came off that way. Am I the butthole for doing this? OP, you get 0 out of 5 buttholes for sleeping on top of the covers. She was fairly warned and she's totally invading your privacy. However, you do get 2 out of 5 buttholes for ruining this plot for me. I've seen this video multiple times on <clears throat> another website, and this is not how the story's supposed to go. Our next Reddit post is from ABC Throwaway. I, a 19 year old female, study drama at university, and my boyfriend is on the same course. My boyfriend is a really good looking guy, but he doesn't seem to know it. He gets a lot of attention from girls, and for the most part, doesn't seem to get that they're flirting with him. I'm not generally annoyed by this, and never really say anything. However, there's one girl in our class, let's call her Victoria, who is obsessed with my boyfriend. She goes out of her way to be paired with him in group activities. For example, if the professor picks groups by numbering us 1, 2, 3, she'll move herself to be in the same number as him. And she recently stepped down from a main role in a play we're doing so she could be in a more minor one simply because this character has a romance with my boyfriend. I know this is the case because I've heard her say to her friends that she thinks he's hot and whatnot. I've never said anything to her about it because she seems pretty insecure, always complaining about how she thinks she's ugly, and I don't see it as a big deal because my boyfriend doesn't care. However, we recently performed the play and had a small after party where she got slightly drunk and was bragging about how she definitely felt something when they kissed in the play, and she's going to ask him if he felt the same. I rolled my eyes and again ignored it until she actually went up to my boyfriend boyfriend. She was a little bit drunk and when she went up to him, I was there too. Victoria started saying that she knows he must have felt a spark. He's a really good kisser, etc. I snapped and sort of shouted at her that you sound incredibly desperate going after someone else's boyfriend. You're pathetic if you think a stage kiss means you should be together. She looked super embarrassed and walked away, and I later heard she'd gone home crying. I feel like a dick because she's obviously insecure and whatnot, and her friends haven't stopped calling me a jerk since. Am I the butthole? Edit, she 100% knows that I am his girlfriend. I've heard her talking about me being his girlfriend before. <laughs> no OP, 0 out of 5 buttholes. You absolutely have a right to stand up for your relationship. And this girl had the gall to ask your boyfriend out basically in front of your face? Nah man, you're cool. The other girl however, insecure or not, she gets 3, maybe even 4 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for admitting I regret having children? My wife and I are both 42 and in marriage counseling after our marriage basically went down the drain after having kids, 6 and 4 year old twins. A lot of issues and disagreements have come up in our marriage that have driven us apart and I've been working through my resentment that going back for one more baby resulted in twins, including one which we are pretty sure has ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder and is a nightmare child. 
Our counselor asked me if I would have children if I had to do it over again and I said, honestly, no. I love my kids and would take a bullet for them, but if I had the chance to go back to 24 when I finished grad school and could do my life over again, I wouldn't choose fatherhood. It's not the fulfilling experience everyone claims, and while I love my children, the sacrifices are not worth it to me. I had a much happier life before having children and have gone from someone who loved life to someone who just makes it through the day. Working a job he hates to provide for the wife and kids while silently wishing this wasn't my life. My wife is furious and taking it the wrong way and even told our six-year-old, Daddy wishes you were never born, which makes me livid. You don't tell a kid that. Yes, I wish I never had kids, but I do love them, would never hurt them, or want to upset them. And I didn't say it to or in front of my kids, and I never, ever will. I said it in marriage counseling, which should be a safe space to talk about feelings. It's become a huge fight. Our marriage is not going to be saved now, and I know she'll try to use this against me in divorce court to try to get sole custody and take everything and lie to the kids who I do love and still want to be a dad to them. She is incapable of understanding that you can love your kids but also feel that parenthood wasn't the best choice for you. The top comment in this thread sums up my thoughts perfectly from Cannon Throwaway. I love my two daughters so much, but if I could do it all over again, I wouldn't be a mom. It is still a big taboo to admit that having children isn't the most amazing thing in the world, but for a lot of us, the lows far outweigh the highs. I'd never, ever tell my kids I feel this way, but I think this is something you should be able to be honest about with your partner in marriage counseling. And the fact she told your child this is disgusting. Not the butthole. OP, I agree 100%. You get 0 out of 5 buttholes. Your wife, on the other hand, gets 4 out of 5 buttholes. Any parent who hurts their kids to get back at their spouse is a monster. Am I the butthole if I stop paying my daughter's tuition over a disgusting comment she made towards my new girlfriend? I'm a 56 year old male and my wife died at the young age of 51 from a car accident. I was in deep mourning for about a year after her death. I met my new girlfriend C who's 43 around January. C was the one who made me laugh for the first time after my wife died. She's smart as hell, three Ivy League degrees, has a dark sense of humor that I love, a terrific cook and overall an amazing woman who I can imagine spending the rest of my life with. She's also on the heavier side, a fact that becomes relevant later. I have two children, E, a 25-year-old male, and A, a 19-year-old girl. They were well aware that I'd gotten a new girlfriend before I first introduced them to C this summer. She got along immediately with my son, but my daughter was very, very standoffish. After their initial meeting, I asked my daughter if there was something wrong, but she denied it. My girlfriend made a few more attempts to get to know my daughter, but they were all rudely rejected. My kids both came home for Thanksgiving dinner. I asked A to please be polite during the meal since she's always been rude in her interactions with my girlfriend even though C has been nothing but gracious in return. The dinner was going as well as it could have for the first 10 minutes, although I noticed my daughter glaring at my girlfriend the entire time. When my girlfriend went to grab her third helping of mashed potatoes, my daughter said, Don't you think you've eaten enough, you fat pig? My girlfriend started sobbing immediately and ran off into the bedroom. I felt my face turn red and told my daughter to get out. About an hour after my daughter left, I texted her stating that I would no longer pay her tuition unless one, she apologized to my girlfriend, and two, my girlfriend accepts her apology. My daughter must have assumed that I was bluffing because she instead doubled down on her behavior during Thanksgiving dinner. I then logged into her university's tuition payment website, canceled next semester's tuition, and sent my daughter the screenshots. She called me crying and begging me to reconsider, but I told her my mind was made up. All right, this is kind of a tough situation, but I'm going to say that everyone is the butthole here, and by everyone, I mean OP and the daughter. I mean, clearly the daughter was over the line. I don't know what her problem is, but that was extremely rude and there needs to be consequences. But on the other hand, pulling her tuition is a little bit extreme. I mean, that's basically upturning her entire life. She's made life decisions on the assumption that you would continue to pay for her tuition, which presumably you told her you would, so I think that's a bit much. So yeah, your daughter needs to face some kind of discipline or consequences, but that is a bit too far. I'll give your daughter 3 out of 5 buttholes and you 4 out of 5 buttholes. 
Am I the butthole for pretending to get fired when customers get a temper with me? I'm a high schooler with a weekend job at a coffee shop. My coworkers who work weekends are James, the owner's son. He goes to my school. He's a shift manager, but it's not a real formal thing. He's a friendly guy. Danielle, a college student who sometimes works weekends too. So sometimes customers will come in and just be angry about such little stuff. Like literally blow up about nothing. I don't know if they're in a bad mood already and looking for someone to take it out on or what, but it's a lot. Like how sad do you have to be to be a grown man taking your anger out on high school and college kids? So James and I were joking about having a little fun with them and hopefully getting them off our backs. So one day I was at work and some guy was having a temper about how we don't make the coffee hot enough, which I couldn't do a thing about because I gave it to him right out of the machine. So James came in and was like, sir, is there a problem here? And the guy started ranting at him too. So he was like, OP, this is unacceptable. You're fired. I started acting real sad, like, no, please don't fire me. My family needs the money. I need this job, please. And he played it up being tough, telling me to take off my apron and leave. The angry guy started to backtrack, like, it isn't that big of a problem. You don't need to fire her over it. I didn't mean it. And James was like, no, we pride ourselves on the best customer service. Of course, after all that drama, I still had my job. We were just acting. And we've done it a couple of times. Whenever a customer will lose their temper at Danielle or I, James will storm in and fire us. And almost every time, the person who had come in angry will apologize and say that they didn't mean it. It's kind of satisfying, making people realize their actions might actually have consequences. Anyway, I was telling my friends from school about this and a few of them thought it was a mean prank to let someone go away thinking they'd gotten someone who desperately needs the money fired. Am I the butthole for this joke? <laughs> no, OP. Obviously, the friends who think it was a mean prank have never worked retail or probably any customer service job for that matter. If they had, I'm sure they would agree with you. Am I the butthole for asking my husband's sister to consider being a surrogate for us? My husband and I have been trying for pregnancy for years now, and to cut a long story short, it seems as though it'll never be a possibility. It took a long time to come to terms with, but we gradually got there. Our entire family is aware of the journey we've been on and how much it meant to us. With that in mind, my husband and I came to his sister, Sarah, with a proposal. Sarah is in her early 30s, unmarried, and vocally against having children of her own. Despite this, we thought she might be open to the idea of a surrogate pregnancy on our behalf given she would not have to be involved in raising the child personally. My husband is extremely close to his family and the idea of the entire process of surrogacy being contained to his blood felt extremely important to him. With that closeness in mind, we didn't feel it was out of order to ask this sort of question. We invited Sarah over for dinner and, at the end of it, laid out our request. We told her we'd been saving over the years and would be willing to pay her as much as a regular surrogate would be paid. A pretty hefty fee so she would be able to take time off work if it was required. Help her out with everything she needed. Plus, we had no expectations that she must help raise the child just because she carried it. We told her why it was important to us and how much it'd mean and asked her to have an open mind about it. Sarah exploded at us. She said we were both out of our minds for making such a request, extremely selfish, and that we had no respect for her disinterest in children. She actually left early. Right now, she's refusing to take calls from us and even went as far as to ask my husband's parents to tell us both not to contact her until she decides to initiate it herself. My husband's parents are sympathetic to us but say that we should have kept in mind Sarah's difficulties. My parents think she's behaving awfully. Most of my friends are on my side, but a few have said that it was a bit of a rude request given everyone knows how much Sarah hates kids. It's really weighing on my mind, and I honestly never expected this kind of outcome. She literally blocked us on every platform she could. Are we really the ones behaving like a butthole? OP, honestly, I'm sorry, but you are definitely the butthole here. The fact that you asked that knowing that your sister-in-law has no interest in this shows that you completely don't respect her wishes. This is kind of like coming up to a vegetarian and being like, hey, I know you don't eat meat, but would you mind slaughtering this living animal so that we can eat the meat? Don't worry, you won't have to eat the meat. We just want you to do the slaughtering for us. I mean, it's kind of a rough analogy, I realize, but still, 
asshole. Like, you're asking her to do something that she's obviously against, and then like, well, yeah, but you only have to do half of it. So it shouldn't be that bad, right? So I don't hand these out very often, but honestly, OP, five out of five buttholes. It sounds like you don't respect her in the slightest. That was r slash am I the butthole, and if you didn't hit that like button, then you get five out of five buttholes.